Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Live Analysis Webinar. This is uh, the uh, Bookmap uh, Advanced Education that you get with the Bookmap Global Plus subscription. Um, good morning, David. Uh, let me explain a little bit about this um, and why it's now um, uh, for Global Plus subscribers. Uh, the reason being is that uh, well, we added the live trading. Uh, we didn't want to up. We didn't want to offer um, you know a cost. Uh, for um, uh, the, you know the trading room, all right. And uh, but we need to we need to pay them uh, to come in, all right. Uh, they're not doing it for free. Uh, so we thought uh, uh, what we'd do is uh, if you want to continue on with these advanced uh, webinars uh, and get the live trading as well, uh, then uh, just upgrade to Global Plus. Okay. So uh, what you're gonna you're gonna get not just education, you're going to get more indicators. You're going to get the, the book map um, uh, absorption indicator. Okay, the, the ability to trade from the book map chart, the large lot tracker, um, two imbalance indicators and a strength indicator. Okay, so you, you'll get all of that to boot uh, plus the education. Okay, so um, that's the whole concept here. Um, we uh, really debated it back and forth and we just need to, we, we need to cover, uh, you know, the costs here. So. Uh, that was our decision for this, um, uh, you know, the Global Plus uh, being the uh, the cutoff point here for uh, the live advanced education, All right? There's still lots of great resources out there for global, um, you, you know, that you have the the free webinars, you have the the um, uh, uh, Pro Trader webinar series, uh, you have this webinar uh, on Fridays, which is free, uh, etc. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's go through some disclaimer disclosures here and then let's jump in and go through the live market we were just looking at a move to the upside and i'm curious to see how this unfolded we're looking for uh s p to go up to about um uh, 15 or so uh as uh, we we're seeing a little bit of bullish activity there general disclosure uh all bookmap limited materials information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations uh we won't be trading live in this one so i'll just skip that um and uh, risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so let's uh, jump in here uh, and uh, see what's going on. Wow, just shy of 15, or did it hit it? Mm, yeah, it looks like it transacted, yeah. Yeah, we got it. We got a 200 transactions up there at 15. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just shy of it. One, one tick away. Uh, anyway, that was the goal. Um, and uh, to trade up through these areas, we just saw some. Uh, it it really started here with this spoof, um, which was nice to see actually a spoof. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird to say that, uh, but uh, uh, in in bookmap, it's it's very apparent. You know, we we saw this uh, kind of spoof in here, uh, and. Um, uh, you know, this layering in here, pushing the market lower. Uh, and then uh, what we look for, though, after that is uh, the follow through. OK, once we get back up above these areas here and here, it looks like it, it's it might go right. I, I would be looking for it to break up in, you know, further, uh, to be honest. Uh, right at this point, we got some good volume in here. Uh, we do not have icebergs, though, on our side. OK, we do have stops, though. Uh, stop run here. Beautiful stuff there. Uh, no icebergs on our side though. So they, they take it one more lower. Now they start to um, accumulate on the, uh, uh, you know, on the bid here, the icebergs, All right? So some good stuff in there. Uh, you know, this is that kind of context, you know, and this S&P can be so rotational, but here are some of the reasons why. There are larger players still going short in here, okay? Uh, and uh, now, they're, now they're reversing out, All right? So looking pretty good. Uh, so uh, we looking for, and then once we saw this, you know, them starting to come in here, uh, we, we even look for the pullback to 10 here, right in here. And then we got that and then uh, looking for that further move up. Uh, good morning, Dove. Good morning, Charles and Doug. Um, all right. Um, yeah. Thank God it's Friday, David. Uh, miss your tweets, David. Um, that's, a, that's a pity, uh, but uh, jump back on that horse and uh, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, start uh, uh, you know, tweeting again. Uh, love, love your uh, your material. Um, well, uh, guys, uh, we'll we'll offer that that chat here very soon as well. D uh, Discord, okay, through Discord chat. So that's exciting. 
Um, I know um, some of you uh, uh, have already, and I, I reached out like about a month ago, uh, and um, Doug, David, uh, Trader HE, uh, Tom, uh, some others are interested. If you guys are interested, um, you know, not just the chat, but we're talking about moderating and content providing, et cetera, uh, then um, uh, yeah, reach out to us at info at uh, bookmap.com, okay? Uh, so we're, we're we have a short list already. Okay, Doug. Yeah, I, I know I know you're interested in uh, in it. Um, I got you down on the list already. Um, Ryan, uh, yeah, reach out, uh, please. Info at uh, bookmap.com. Uh, and um, uh, really excited about this. You know, we'll, we'll probably um, be reading the chat um, from Discord right in the webinars as well. Uh, so we're going to integrate everything into it, right? Uh, and um, uh, so it, it, this should be, you know, r really up the service uh, for you guys. And I know a lot of you subscribe to like JTrader or, you know, um, you know, someone else, uh, maybe Scott. I don't know if Scott offers Discord. I don't think he does, uh, but many do. Okay, now you're going to have one uh, centralized platform with Discord and just jump right over to Bookmap. Okay, it'll be really simple. Uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, Customer level for Discord. I don't know what you mean by that, um, uh, Chuck. Oh, okay. Is it global or global plus? Um, I think bo both global and global plus. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, that's another resource um, uh, for uh, for any any subscribers uh, to Bookmap. Okay. All right. So uh, let's take a look here. Let's see what's going on um, in this S&P. Just the bigger picture looks pretty horrible here. Uh, you can see it's a lot of back and forth, right? And um, you can see the 8.30 news, um, beautiful stuff. I always like looking at this. Um, and uh, just, just noticing, like, look at this halo or um, dark pit around the price here, right? This is just this is what the market does. Okay, a couple minutes before, two minutes before, right? Everyone starts pulling their liquidity. Okay, a few guys remain in here, but then you know, just just before 8:30, they're out. These guys actually come in a little early. That's kind of interesting to see. Anyway, you can see the behavior here, um, and uh, then someone comes in here, very high liquidity, okay, pushing price down. You, you know, you see the reaction down here. Uh, price is not does not tangle with these guys and then they do, okay? they, they trade into them and through them. Okay? And he's still in here, right? So, um, and still still transacting. So this is not a spoof, okay? He, he, he's taking risk here uh, and uh, and transacting and, and, and buyers just trade right through them, okay? So uh, more, a lot of buying pressure here, okay? So this is bullish uh, moving on up into higher areas of liquidity. All right, so a beautiful move there. Looking for a pullback right into this area here, okay? Uh, and it 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 did it not only once here, you know, did it a few times here as well. But then bigger picture, like even at the after the open 9:30, it did it again, okay? So this is a critical area here, okay? And it it's all based off of the the um, the transactions and the order flow here, okay? That's why this is a critical area. Right, so it maybe it's a fib level, maybe it's a, some sort of floor trader pivot. It, that doesn't matter though. What matters was the transaction. We talked about this yesterday in Scott's webinar, talking about um, uh, significant events. Okay, this is one of them for today. All right, so uh, uh, we want to be aware of these areas here. All right, right here. So we'll just mark it up, uh, and then we look for other significant events as well. Okay. Now that's exactly what Scott is doing with that stop iceberg tracker. Okay. I, I, I really like the way he's using it because um, uh, he's looking for something significant uh, to unfold, and then he's looking for the order flow after it. Okay. The big event has occurred. He knows that the players; these are larger players. For example, look at this. Look at the uh, iceberg transactions to the sell side here. Okay. It was we were looking for it to go higher. Look what's holding it down now. Okay. Um, and how significant is it? Let's just take a look here. This is uh, 121 down to negative uh, 278. Okay, so yeah, that's that's uh, you know three three or 400 in here, right? Um, and uh, that that's a 
at least for the data that I have uh, for right now, yeah, that's significant, okay? So uh, uh, keep an eye on this level up here as well. We can we can mark this one up too. This is this is going to be pretty significant level uh, right here. Okay, if they're going to break this or not. Okay, our 15 level that we're looking at. All right, so let's see if they do it here. In fact, let's just draw up some more structure here, uh, market structure, and uh, let's see if these sellers come in here. They're already starting to come in. Okay, let's let's looking for them to break this here. Uh, they've they've tested it a few times here. Uh, let's see them trade it down to this 08 and a half area here. It okay, probably get another probably another bounce here, but um, um, you know I, I I like it. I like that uh, we see some selling in here. Uh, there's quite a bit of buying in here too. Um, but uh, let's see if we can get some sellers in here to try to try to drop this lower. Okay, and we're not we're not getting them. Uh, you can see we we're looking for these kinds of dots. Uh, here, this big green dot, we want to see it red though here, okay? So it looks like some back and forth in here for a minute, um, uh, but uh, looking for some follow through here, one side or the other, all right? So uh, some back and forth right now. Anyway, uh, my point on this significant event, um, here's another one here. Uh, you guys can see the transaction into it here, okay? They're, they were buying here. Okay, now they flipped, and you, see, you can see the, uh, the that spoofing in here, trying to push it lower here. All right, so uh, uh, yeah, we can. Uh, I'll refrain from. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it here. You can kind of see the uh, price structure after that significant event here. Right, it's a little. It's kind of a zone, you know, between uh, 08 and three quarters on up to 10. Okay, so we'll just keep it right here uh, at 10 for now and you can see we've been we've been bouncing around here uh, good morning michael um is there a way to permanently change the size and color of the horizontal lines yeah uh so just uh right click on it enter um uh edit mode here okay and then uh click on this i'm sorry we're in edit mode now right click on it Okay, and then go to edit. Okay, and then you can change the size and color here. And what Bookmap will do uh, then is um, uh, remember the last. So if I change, you can change it to a dashed, you know, whatever uh, size, color, um, and um, uh, now save and close. Okay. Now the next line that I make here. It's going to be the same color until I change it. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, I don't believe. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, it'll do it for all lines. Okay, so if I do even do it for a um, um, horizontal there, I mean a array extended line here. All right. So that's how that works. Um, and let's just delete these and go back to edit. Save and close, and just to double check here, that should do the trick, right? Yeah, okay. And just get rid of this one here. All right. Uh, yeah, Doug, that, that is true, a good point. Um, uh, Michael, so uh, Doug is uh, making this point here. Uh, this only for that chart, okay? If you go back to another tab that you've already opened, it's only, um, um, it, it won't work, okay? Now, however, if you open a new tab with those um, drawing settings, uh, it should retain it, okay? So basically, um, when you, whatever tab you're on and then you open a new tab, it should carry over the chart settings from that tab, okay, that you that you um, that you were previously on. That's how it works. Great, great point, Doug. Um, and uh, uh, forgot about that. And I, I can see that exp <laughs> the, the uh, confusion there. All right, guys, nothing going on here um, at the moment, uh, right in the middle. But we're starting to see some volume here. Okay, so we're right at the point of control. Uh, and I didn't, let me put it on here as well. Show the point of control. 
yeah, we're right, right at it, um, literally, and uh, VWAP here, okay. And VWAP is right, right around the same area here. So now what we're looking for here, okay, what is it, if this is value, okay, and it, it most certainly is, okay, right now, what are we looking for to move it outside of value? Okay, one, one word answer. Okay, to move, so we're talking about a move already um, outside of value. Volume, exactly, exactly, John. Yep, um, volume to the upside or downside does not matter, okay? But we're looking for them, you know, this is this is exactly, this is exactly why, like, we can go through all sorts of examples, even in this microstructural areas in here. Um, this is how the market works, okay? Let's just look at this little area here. Love this tool. Um, uh, so, you know, if we um, uh, look at, this is value here for this time, this time frame, right? Okay, so uh, it's, it's going back and forth in here. It has a slight kind of move to the upside, right? But now let's look at this. Okay. What what moved it away from this area, this area of value here? Volume. Okay. It was a good move. Uh, you know, the, the points move is, is um, it's only three points here, but for this small range, it's only like, you know, a couple points wide, right? Uh, so, or maybe even a point and a half wide. So this is a significant move away from this value area. Volume, movement and volume, okay? That's what it takes, okay? This is exactly why when you start looking at markets, um, you'll see um, a, an area of consolidation, catastrophic break with huge volume, and then it goes back and forth in that area, catastrophic break back and forth in that area okay sometimes you get that grinding move to the upside um, as well but uh, that's typically what you get um, and uh, here's our here's our break to the downside okay here's our this is exactly what we're looking for right now we're back down we're coming back down to these kind of significant areas again okay so just into 08 and a half here um, I let's see if they we probably get some covering but but basically this looks pretty good for hitting um, our um, uh, level here down at uh, 04 yeah here they go okay now this, this, let's just zoom out here and get our bigger picture approach okay this is going to be a significant area okay? they've been they've been accepting this area um, it's been a price is accepted above 05 or this 04 and three quarters all day long Okay, since since uh, significant news here at 8:30. Okay. All right. So uh, and uh, I like it. Uh, you know, we look at the buy icebergs coming in. This is significant as well. Okay. So we're seeing some nice little stuff here. Um, quite quite a few. Uh, quite a few just came in. Negative uh, 262 on up to 1,200. Okay. So about 1,500 icebergs uh, right in here. Okay. So there we go. Here's our battle. And they're bidding up as well. Okay. Now, typically what we've seen with icebergs uh, and stops are being triggered as well. So this is this is gonna be a real nice move into here. Okay, here we go uh, at our kind of 04 and three quarters, 05. Uh, and um, this is pretty typical. Even with all these icebergs, we're we're seeing it still go lower. Okay, so what we want to look at, uh, it, well, if there's gonna be more sellers here. It, then they're going to continue to drop it, right? But I'm really curious, and because this is a lot of icebergs, all right? So I'm watching this little area right here, okay? If we can get buyers back up above this area here, it should come right back up to this point of control, all right? So I'm looking for the retest. I'm looking for buyers to come in. I'm looking for profit taking as well as buyers to start to come in. We already got the cue here. Uh, or the insight where larger players are, and we know smaller players are getting stopped out all the way down. Okay, and they got filled here too. Okay, we also have the absorption indicator here, which I did not turn on. We probably get significant. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, yeah, buying. That's what we're looking for, right? Yeah. So, and we got some absorption here. Okay, this is all bodes pretty well. 
right? So uh, it's significant, right? So we're looking uh, for price to come back up into at least test this area back up here, 08, 09, at least. Okay. Now, if we can get the the buy volume we're looking for above that, okay, this should this should go to the upside. All right, they're still selling and they're still absorbing, right? So the battle's still raging here. Uh, they're and they're and they're not only do they get filled here at 05, they're still here at 05. Okay, they're back in here and they're still absorbing. 200. There's there's 200, another 200, uh, and um, uh, these are buyers, okay, and icebergs as well, still absorbing. All right, let's see let's see if these buyers come in. Okay, and the the first now. This, since this is, these are tricky, um, you know, we're looking kind of for a minimum test back up to this kind of 08, 09 area, right? Minimum test, right? So let's see, we need them to come in right here uh, and they're not yet. So, you know, not looking to get involved here, okay? So looking for buyers here, let's see if we get some, there they go, okay? Let's see them try to lift this now, right? So, uh, and look at the book as well. So we're looking for the move up into 08, 09. Okay, we're almost we're at 08. Okay, and there's there's our first move. Okay, I'm still looking for more out of this. We we might come down into this area here still, um, but um, uh, looking for some more absorption again. Okay, this these are these are big positions here. Okay, so we've identified the players in here. Okay, there we go. More absorption. They're still they're still absorbing quite a bit and this is why I mentioned these are tricky so we're looking for that minimal move right you know be careful with these moves um, uh, for a reversal it, it takes you know quite a bit to turn these ships around here and we're still going lower okay so um, now they're going to go for the figure down here at 3800 Okay, but we 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 want to be keen on this little area right here. So anyway, uh, that's kind of a trade management uh, thing, as well as you know some some understanding some of the order flow here. It's still a key area, and we know that there's buyers up here. Okay, um, and. Um, uh, I'm still looking for a retest back up into this kind of 08 area, and then I would like to see it break it. Okay, but uh, and this is okay. I mean, we, we've seen this so many times where it goes lower, it continues to go lower, it squeezes these guys here, uh, and then uh, now we've got some more absorption just below the figure here. Beautiful, beautiful absorption in here. Looking for buyers now. Okay, not yet, not yet at all. Okay, minimal move would be, boy, it's uh, really selling off here. Um, all right, buyers, let's see it. Nope, not yet, not on that rotation. One more, let's see them try again here. Okay, and looking for significant buyers here around 98, hopping on the bus or the train, and then riding it higher here. Not yet. Yeah, these these are can be tricky. I mean, like uh, we're looking for something significant, though, right? The distinction here, big green dots.
bid looks good okay buyers starting to come in all right buyers let's see them move back up into 98 99 the figure here i think they got it uh structure is still not broken yet we we need to see basically 97 right here we need to see the buyers up here okay so still be careful here still uh, like looking for buyers up here this is where we need to see the the, the flow change right we always talk about this the structure has to break right it was tested it was only tested here it was it did not break all right let's see if we can get back up above 95 here all right there they go all right buyers let's see them stream on up right to 97 and then break it and they should break it here come on break it up to the figure and then let's see if other buyers start to join in the party and then we're looking for a bigger move here All right back up to 99 the figure and then also our line here um, where it broke from up here basically uh, up to 05 here That was a pretty wicked move, huh? 05 down to 95. 10 S&P points here. A lot of selling too. Look at look at all the selling in here. Okay. So anyway, we're looking for the move back up to 05 here. Uh let's see um few more questions here yeah Edwin um, you, you know Scott covers this as well um, significant iceberg buying okay but it's the context after that right so you know so what like you know are they buying to cover I mean and then let price drop um, I, I don't know, but we know that it was significant and we know the position of larger players. We look for the order flow after it, okay? Uh, that's what matters. It's the same thing on stops and stop runs. It, it really is the same question because like, uh, well, let's say there's a stop run. You would think, okay, great. Well, everyone just got stopped out, price should reverse. No, no, that's not the case, okay? You can get a beautiful stop run and then you get more buying after it right so stops everyone out to the upside and then there's more buyers okay and then it actually goes higher okay so you, you'd be looking for that um uh if there's more new buying that comes in okay if there's not and they get down below where they broke from on that stop run okay then we're looking for um uh sellers to start to come in okay and then drive it lower okay so they're not they're not interested in buying above that area any longer so it's all kind of empty volume up there because they're stops. They're not new positions. Okay, so we look for the new positions. And you can you can use the stop iceberg tracker that way as well. Okay, notice to see if there are new positions or not. So just look for, you know, lots of volume and then nothing on stops, right? Uh, it, to be flatlined, right? So no stops are being triggered. Yeah, yeah, you always have to, it's always about the context after. Um, the uh, the event basically you know if it if it if you're really looking at something and it just really um, uh, you, you know you, you know you've got it and it, you know you, you see that uh, there's lots of uh, 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 buying icebergs it, you know then then yeah I mean I will jump in and, and just use it um, and just say like look I'm going for it <laughs> this is the direction I'm going for uh, and and then that's that. But like I said in this one here, I like no minimum movement was up to 08 right here, right minimum. Okay? We'd like to see it come back up to to a point of control here because of all of this buying in here, right? Uh, and it totally sold off another 10 points. Okay. So um, uh, anyway, so th this is these can be very tricky to catch, right? So we're just looking for a minimal move. And uh, and stop 
you know, put your stop to break even, take your profit, uh, or at least partial, take partial profit on some of those. You gave it a shot, right? Uh, and um, uh, anyway, uh, and then, you know, basically I missed the, uh, the 10 point move to the downside here, okay? but I, I was not looking at higher time frames here. Do not have much to show except for these guys down here. God, this is, these have been really beautiful heat map charts on these higher time frames. Larger player pulls, adds higher, pulls, adds higher. So this 3,800, this is where you ended up, and that's where we're retesting right now. Okay, and still looking for. We already had this kind of, you know, back and forth here. So still looking for buyers to come in here. Okay, they need now the level is this 3,800. Okay, because of the the, the major transactions right here. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's see if we get our green dots above that. If we do, we should come back to 05. Uh, and if we can get even more green dots above 05, yeah, we're looking for, you know, basically point of control, other side of the range, maybe 3820. Uh, all right, so more questions here. If there's value in visualizing the sum function native iceberg, why is it offered for synthetic icebergs? Uh, well, the market by order data, um, uh, we we know that uh, this is fact, right? Uh, the synthetics we don't know, okay? Because this is this is market by order data from the exchange, from the CME exchange. It's in the metadata, okay? The synthetics might be, you know, for example, TT, uh, Trader Technologies. You can you can use TT right now, uh, and you can get co-location, uh, and you can use an order type from TT called Iceberg. Okay, that will not show up in Bookmap. Okay, in the Stop Iceberg Tracker. Okay, because those are synthetic. They're outside of the CME Exchange. They're not native to it. Okay, we have the um, old Strength indicator uh, that shows that, but it's just not as accurate. That's all. Here, here comes our, our move, guys. This is what we're looking for, right? Uh, 08 or 3800, and, and they're really starting to pick it up now. Okay, so up, up to 05 is what we're looking for. Okay, and that's basically kind of minimal move is up to 05. On this high, it's, it's a higher time frame move, but it, it just makes sense. It should come up at least up to here, right? Now there may be more sellers that come in, and, and and that's that, you know, and it doesn't make it up to here. But if we're getting buyers here, um, looking for them to trade it up to these guys, and now if these guys got it wrong, uh, these uh, larger players up here, and they got it wrong, well then they're going to start to sell, right? They're going to be like, oh, thank God it came back to break even. Okay, but. A lot of times what you'll see on these big moves like this, you'll see it, this is answering Edwin's question. You see them getting filled in here, goes lower, they're still getting filled, you know? These are larger players, you know? They can handle that, they can handle that heat. So you get back up into this area here and you see, you'll see buying above 05, they're in the green. They took all this heat, but they're in the green. And then you'll see these nice moves to the upside. We see it all the time. Okay, this is how, you know, you build <coughs> trading strategies. Okay, when you see these things all the time, okay, and, and you know that this is kind of the market behavior or, you know, um, order order flow behavior, okay, now go back and study it, okay, and you have a strategy, okay, you have an edge, all right, so uh, I, I would in, um, uh, encourage you and implore you to to, to do that. Okay, because uh, here we're reading the order flow, right? And we've been reading it in here for, for some years now. Uh, and uh, we see some nice moves. Uh, so, um, uh, and, and that kind of experience, uh, you know, brings us to understanding. And, and not only experience, because, you know, not a plug for the software here, but like, how else are you going to see this kind of stuff here? Right, you you know the positions of the icebergs. You know you know the uh, absorption in here, right? You know this is a significant level now uh, due to that kind of activity. 
right? I don't have that kind of transparency if I'm looking at a candlestick chart, okay? And some sort of wacky indicator like RSI or MACD or something like that, that is just a derivative, a mathematical, um, you know, derivative. Uh, and uh, it does not give you insight. This is order insight. This is a player's insight here, right? This is a really nice level of transparency. Uh, so, you know, now we have that, we have that data, we have that information, right? And we're um, uh, building, you know, or looking for order price to return back to these areas for some of these reasons. Okay, and, and it kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, there's a, a nice image we use for the, um, um, maybe I can bring it up quickly, and a real nice image that for the uh, uh, stocks uh, webinar that we do about every three weeks. And that image um, shows you a pyramid and data is the base of the pyramid, okay? Good data, really good data. If you don't have good data, then you're gonna, off of that, you're gonna, information is the next level in that pyramid. Okay, you're gonna have bad information, okay, if you have bad data. And then based on that bad information, then you're, you're gonna be making decisions, you know, you're, you're building knowledge uh, and off of bad, bad information. Okay, and then wisdom, well, you, you're just going to be foolish. Uh, wisdom, uh, you know, you're not going to know. Uh, so anyway, uh, good data and, and, and transparency is kind of the, you know, the uh, base of, uh, of the uh, pyramid. All right, guys, well, this is uh, pretty typical as well. We'll probably see this grinding move up into this area here. Um, uh, you know, because no one, the larger players, they're already positioned, right? So we're looking maybe for a grinding move up into here. Uh, I'm curious to see if we get, we get more buyers back up above 05 and then get a quick move. We may, um, I don't know, it, it could just grind for hours up into like 12 up here, point of control, you know, something like that. Okay, but here's our move into 05, just about there. Uh, I would imagine we're going to get some selling up here around this 05. Okay? That maybe some of these guys are going to cover and think, oh, thank God. So uh, maybe some back and forth in here. Okay? So just some scenarios to, to um, uh, outline. Beautiful. There's our move. Okay. Hit some stops as well, I imagine. Uh, some more questions. Let's see. So now, Edwin, these guys are in profit. Okay. They were probably in profit way down here, to be honest, because they're they're still buying into it. There's, look at all the absorption still at these lower levels. So they're probably in profit right around here, to be honest. Okay. Now they're in some some real nice profit. Uh, you want to look at gold. Yeah, we haven't looked at gold in quite a while. Eesh, this indicator's a little much there. Hold on. Yeah, nice move down here. Uh, and I uh, haven't really looked at gold in a while, so... Um, you know, I, I don't know, like we, we can see the uh, high liquidity in here, it broke down through this area here. Okay, so it's actually kind of correlating with the stocks. Uh, so, um, you know, anyway, I don't know, I'm really not quite too fond of, of gold, um, gold market. Uh, anyway, larger liquidity up here at uh, 1895, and then uh, down here around this uh, 1870, it broke it. Okay, and then uh, starting to see some uh, uh, same type of stuff here for the move back up. Uh, let's see if we can get another move back up into this area here, likely to happen here, back up into this kind of 61-ish uh, area. High liquidity though, still up in the book, as you guys can see, uh, between 61 and 65. Let's jump back to that S&P. 
So anyway, guys, this is, again, minimal move, right? Minimal move up to 05, okay? Great move, okay? We were looking at it down in here, right? Okay, so, you know, that's a that's like a 10-point move right there. Okay, so anyway, um, you know, I, I, I just think it, like, if Alan is in here, I keep on beating up on Alan, and I'm going to start beating up a little bit on Felipe. Um, uh, and I'm just kidding. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, you guys have been asking questions about, well, how do I use it? How do I trade it, et cetera? You know, so just build confidence. Hit singles here. Hit something that is higher probability, okay? Just like this move, okay? You know, so uh, we're looking for 05. Um, now it's up to 08. Right now it's above it, and these guys are they're still in profit. Okay, still looking for it to go higher here. Okay, looking for the move back to point of control here, basically. Okay, we're above it now. Right, I mean, we might get some back and forth in here, but like these guys are in profit. Right, so we're just looking for this to float higher up into these areas here, and and, and see stops being triggered all the way up. Okay. Um, uh, if there's new sellers that come in, then we'll look at it. We'll see it, right? But so far, this is what we think, okay? Based on, I mean, we've gone through this almost the entire entire webinar, this one position, basically. Um, so um, uh, anyway, uh, uh, what was I going to say here? Um, uh, just, yeah, hit hit your targets and, and uh, you know, look for those minimal moves. It builds just like reams of confidence here, right? That you read it and you 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 took profit. You don't know, like, what, what if the sellers came in here? What if these guys started to sell up here and maybe they reverse their position? Maybe the book starts to flip, right? All these kinds of questions. Well, it didn't. It's actually flipping to the upside. They're on the offer here. Now they're on the bid. And we see even more absorption up here, okay? And we're back up to VWAP now, right? So uh, a lot, of, lot of things to uh, to look at here uh, and consider, um, but uh, just hit you know the high probability trade. It should work out. It did work out, um, and then look for the next one. Okay, just build slowly. I'm not trying to hit a home run here because we don't know. All right. Uh, check my drawing settings back to default does not save your last setting. Okay. Um, really? All right. I'll, I'll, I'll check on that, Doug. I don't want to go through it here um, in, in this webinar, uh, if you don't mind. Um, and uh, it should, though. If you, if you open up a new symbol, okay, let's just change. Let's make a new line here, or let's just change this line here. I'll go through it. Okay, All right, so now I've got that. Now I need to open up a new symbol, right? So click on the plus tab. Let's go to Rhythmic and uh, let's open up, uh, let's open up a Russell. I haven't looked at that in quite a while. Um, Guys, I'll get to your questions here. Uh, I, I'm just, curiosity is killing me here. So I, I got to check this uh, with, with Doug. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right, Doug. It's not it's not doing it. Okay, it, it should. Um, that's the way I understood it. Like uh, I know that the, the chart setting here is the same as the one I just came from with the S&P. So uh, sorry about that. Sorry, Michael. Um, uh, one thing you can do though is you can uh, you know right click in here and you could go to chart um, settings and you can inherit chart settings from okay let's just do that try this with the ES okay there we go and then let's try this again 
ray. Was it a ray that we used? I believe it was. No, this is 7.2. It, it might, it could be a bug. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, however, let's go back to this S&P. Okay, and then let's let's actually set this, save this as a um, um, chart setting, save to file. Okay, we can do that. And I'm just going to call it BPES. Right, and let's uh, let's try this again. Go back to Russell. Load chart setting. Load from file. Okay. And I just saved it. Huh. And I don't see it. Why not? Under config right here. Hmm. All right, I, I, I'm sorry taking up the time here for this. I, I don't know why, Doug, good point. Um, anyway, um, yeah, you're not crazy, uh, Michael. Uh, I That's the way I've used it in the past. So, and I know I know that yeah, that's why, you know, I, I'm saying what I'm saying. Um, it, it should it should do it. Uh, I'll uh, definitely notify the team though on that. Um, let's, uh, let's jump back to the S&P. Okay, well, we actually, we're still kind of looking for it to go to point of control here. It still may, but point of control has now shifted down, okay, to 10, All right? You can see it, right? So um, uh, anyway, um, yeah, you know, it, we're starting to see some selling coming in here, but, uh, um, I, you know, I'm still looking for it to come back up to this 12, All right? So um, uh, anyway, it's, it's still kind of floating higher. The structure is still good. The bid's still good. You see some selling right now. Uh, I'm looking for buyers though to come in and try to try to lift it up to 12. Okay, and this is like kind of, I mean, it may it may go higher all day long, up to 20. We said right, okay, but these were our minimal targets and we had our reasons for it, right? So, uh, um, you know, this is the way that I kind of manage these trades, and I'm, I'm it, it builds confidence for me, uh, Scott, for example, or J Trader, uh, for example you know they let them run okay and then they'll they'll let it run until they have another reason to get out okay and it'll have to do with the, the order flow okay or maybe you know insights from some of these larger players and the stop iceberg tracker etc okay and that's their way of managing these right and that's how they can get these like you know four to one five to one you know or scott love scott's uh, um approach where not only that, he's adding in, and and he's adding in more and more and more, building huge position, moving his stop up, uh, and he has reasons for each one that he's getting in on. Okay, so for example, he probably would have gotten in on this one here on the move up, right? With based off of this kind of understanding of these guys here, uh, with the with the stops, with the icebergs, and the absorption in here. Okay, so. Um, uh, you know, he'd be, he would would have added down in here. Um, maybe, I don't know if he would have added in here. Maybe this is not off of stops and icebergs. Maybe off of stops, uh, you know, get back above that area here. I love this trade. Um, I love these kinds of pivots here. If it breaks this and it breaks above here, I'm looking for it to come right back up into here. Okay. Uh, and um, it did. And then um, we already know, or we had our reasons why it might break and still go higher here. So uh, anyway, that's that. 
Uh, let's get back to these questions. Sorry, sorry, guys. I will get to your questions here. Um, I know I've been kind of um, uh, digressing here a bit. Uh, Murad, if there's a value in the sum, okay. Well, the summation here, I, I like it for the, um, let me show my setting on this. Um, I like it uh, just because um, if I go here, uh, cumulative volume delta, okay, using summation, I, the, the um, axes are not aligned here, but I can read the context here. Uh, and this is what I like about it. Uh, so I, I always got a little confused on um, some of the spikes and then some of the re, um, resets. Um, so this this, this uh, sum, summation uh, setting here does not have any reset. So I know these are buyers. I know these are sellers over here. I'm sorry, seller sell stops. And I know these are buy stops. Okay, and that's that. There's no reset. Uh, the the um, problem with it, or one of the uh, um, um, you know kind of issues with it here, is uh, I've got to read the bottom down here, or I can use the data tip tool and hover over this area and go, okay, well this was negative 725, and then read it up to here, you know negative uh, 182. So you know, and then do some quick math and 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 understand that you know th there's like a you know, 500 stops in here, okay, being stopped out to the upside, pretty significant, right? So a lot of people went short and they're getting stopped out and they're still getting stopped out. This is exactly the grinding move we were looking for. All right, um, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, I, that's the way I, I do it. Um, and um, maybe that's helpful. Maybe you have another way, um, please share. That's what this chat is gonna be great for. So you guys can share how you read it, right? Um, and uh, learn from each other here. Yeah, I can't can't wait. Okay, Murat. So I just <laughs> I'm sorry. I try to read these questions rather quickly. I, I misread it, um, and also it's very small text, so sometimes I have a hard time reading it. Um, if there's value in visualizing the sum function with native icebergs, why isn't it offered for synthetic icebergs? Ah, got it, got it, got it. Um, the synthetic icebergs um, is uh, here on the um, with a strength indicator. It's you know we call it the strength indicator, uh, and it's on the chart here. It's 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 basically um, uh, it, we may actually bring this up into the chart. I think that is the next step in the development here. One of the new features. You know, so we will show it uh, up on the chart here. Uh, are we going to bring this back down? It's been suggested, uh, Marat, and um, I've actually reached out to the team about that. Um, you know, to put it down here. The the reason being is this is just um, you know we just had some issues with this um, uh, strength indicator. Uh, it's still good. It, it it depends on. It's always been good. Uh, but what happened was it depended on what kind of data you were using a lot of false positives would be generated. So if you're using like, you know, maybe lesser quality data from like IB or Transact, uh, you know, IQ feed or something like this, uh, then um, uh, you're gonna see different numbers up here, quite a bit different, right? So uh, we, we really kind of stopped on the development, I think, uh, on that Murat, uh, and that that's it. So, um, it really it makes such a difference here at the microstructural level, like even at like a billionth of a second, it matters because if it displays in the order book, okay, and then it transacts, okay, then we know that you know this is a synthetic iceberg, okay. But uh, if it you know transacts and then displays in the order book, like you know there's some latency uh, in there with the two different data feeds, then that's going to be an issue. You're going to get a false positive. Okay, and these orders flutter so, through so quickly, guys. Uh, so uh, uh, you know, e you know, each of these data providers, um, uh, there's going to be some, uh, you know, uh, uh, some false positives on that. Okay, so but the 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 um, stop iceberg tracker for um, 
native uh, CME, uh, this is this is just data, right? We we know it, so this is just factual. There's no sort of like reading of it um, in a specific way that uh, uh, we we just we we know it, and, and that's the big distinction. I hope that answers your question, Marat. Um, and sorry for the misread. Okay, uh, get to Dove's question here. Um, can you mark the iceberg, um, as Scott? Uh, yeah, that's that. That is the next step. Uh, we're going to be uh, marking them on the chart. Um, I think that answers your question, Dove. Um, as long as under 38 and our target is 37.90. Okay. Yeah, how to add the POC, um, uh, Edwin. So you're going to need to open up um, a column. It's going to have to be um, a volume column, a trades counter column, or a quotes counter column. Then you're going to have to use, most of us are looking at volume. Okay. Then you have to right click again, and then you're going to have to select session accumulated. Okay. So it's for the entire session since you opened up book map. So SVP column. And then you're going to have to right click again and go to configure. And then you select the little um, uh, box here, show POC. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Uh, Brent's uh, level spot gamma, uh, beautiful bounce off of 92. Okay. That's fantastic. Um, God, what a wizard. Um, so uh, th this is a, a subscription service um, from one of our uh, educator partners. Uh, and let me show you that here. Um, I've got it. Um, so we're going to add, add a new column, insert new column. Okay. Boy, this is doing some funky things here on this volume column here. Ah, did I, I just, I know what I did, okay. Yeah. Okay, here, let's just uh, go back to volume. And volume again here. Hold on. Here we go. Just clear resets. All right. There we go. That's right. Um, okay. Uh, so it, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll add this back in here. We we'll go to notes, cloud notes. Put in Brent's call wall down here at 92 beautiful uh, one thing i really like i mean i this is kind of you know kind of um, we don't really see too often i mean usually like what i like about brent's services is uh you know it's like fib levels or like you know um you know some other kind of levels like uh you know, if you're going to hit one of them and you're going to go, oh, see, it went right to the 68 point, you know, uh, you know, two or whatever it is, it, it's just kind of, uh, it's going to hit one of them, right? But, you know, Brent's levels, like, they're usually spaced out pretty well and they're super accurate. Like, you know, he's, he's looking at bigger um, uh, options uh, players and their positions, what they're doing. Uh, and um, and we're seeing day after day how how nice and accurate they are. So really nice um, uh, subscription service uh, through them. Uh, we've had him on for um, uh, three webinars, I believe, and, and we'll probably have him uh, next time as well. Okay. So um, uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, David's been using them a lot. Uh, I have not. Um, I, I want to show them to you guys, but uh, uh, you know, it's an educator partner. But you know, I don't want to give it away. Um, so I, I, you know, want to, I don't, 
you know, I want to show it and I want to promote those guys um, and show how good their service is. I think that's the key here. That's the thing that's going to drive value. Uh, but I, I don't want to also give it away so that you guys are like, oh, okay, I know what these key levels are here. Um, so, um, but I, I like, I, I love them, uh, David. I think they're they're fantastic. All right, so let's see. Um, did I get through most of these questions? Okay, you're brand new to Bookmap. How should you? Okay, we went through the point of control there. Okay, got it. Oh, you you found you found it yourself. Hey, okay. uh, Charles, can you show the stop iceberg settings for S and P? Yeah. Okay, I am using 3.1.1. Hey, we should have a new one soon. Right, and uh, there's some uh, bug fixes in it. I'm looking very forward to it. Sergey's been working very hard on it. All right, so anyway, that's that. Uh, okay, Trader HE, I just, just uh, answered that one. How do I set what up, Thomas? Thomas Chung. Uh, Edwin, I don't know what levels you're you're talking about. This the um, spot gamma. Yeah. Um, well, here, go to our YouTube channel here. Okay, and uh, just go down here. Right, Pro Trader webinar series. Here's one right here. Just watch this one, okay? And just uh, reach out to Spot Gamma. I think it's spotgamma.com. They do a Google search, but uh, here's a webinar uh, that he. It's pretty complex stuff. Um, you know, options are not very simple, uh, and he's a total expert. I've never seen anything anyone like him. I, I've never heard explanations like this. It, it's just fantastic stuff. I mean, we're lucky to have a resource like that. My God. Uh, yes, there are other educational webinars. Um, every every day uh, we have a, a webinar, advanced webinar, okay, for our Global Plus. I, I already went through the whole, you know, um, uh, description here of why or decision why we it's for global plus only i mean because we brought on other traders and uh and we need to you know cover the expenses on that plus you're going to get you know the add-ons for free basically so you get you'll get an upgrade so I, I think it's a good deal and you know we think the education is good uh so for 50, 50 bucks uh, more and and you're getting more software right and you're getting live trading, so uh, I still think it's quite a, quite a good deal. And if you look at some of the other um, um, competitors out there, they don't offer live trading. They don't offer um, a live uh, forward-looking education like this. None of them that I know, not one. They're they're going to charge you hundreds of dollars, and you're going to get a PDF. Uh, let's see. So anyway, yeah, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, um, these are um, analytical uh, uh, webinars. And then on Wednesdays, it's J Trader trading stocks. And then on Thursdays, it's Scott uh, trading futures. Uh, yeah, no, the answer, uh, HE, Trader HE was um, uh, on bug fixes. Uh, I don't. I still don't have a release date, um, but Sergey should offer it soon. Okay. I, anyway, look, looking for that uh, sh soon. Okay. 
So I, I, I'm sorry, I don't have any more to tell you than that. Guys, look at look at how beautiful this move turned out. Like we went, we were looking for it to go up to um, uh, 12. So let's uh, go back here to POC. Whoops, I'm not I don't have the uh, session. Yeah, just just beautiful move, right, right up to 12. And now sellers starting to come in. I, and you know, we'll, we'll watch this here, but um, this is going to be a really interesting level here, down right at this kind of 08 or 07 here. This is remember how we drew this up, um, uh, looking for that little retest back to it here. Um, and uh, this is going to be an interesting level here. They're they're going down below it right now. I'm looking for buyers to come right back in though and trade it right back up to, to, to 10 here, okay? Um, so uh, this is, I'm looking for kind of a false breakdown and a move back to 10 here. Uh, it's already gone, gone, kind of gone right to this little breakdown here. It's already pulled back to it, but let's see if we can make it to 10. Um, and it cannot. Um, let's see if we get another retest back there or not. Uh, anyway, what I'm talking about here is like, a Structurally, it's, it's it's starting to break down now. Yeah, that's why I was looking for a retest back up, and and the, the sellers are are bringing it right back down to five. That's where they're going to go with it. It looks like. Um, so uh, this this um, and we'll see. Maybe we'll just kind of fill in this zone between like seven or eight and five, right? Uh, but um, uh, the uh, um, I was looking to see if this structure is still going to hold or not. Right, this this up upward move, uh, and then maybe uh, we see price you know go on, go on up into like 17 and 20, you know something like that, and it's still it still may, you know, typically what we get on these kinds of moves is uh, you'll you'll see like a a shakeout move like this, another retest, a double bottom, it does leg one, tries to do leg two, it fails, you see buyers come in, and then you get the move the uh, trend continuation. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Good, good analysis today. Yeah, it was. Uh, it played out pretty nice. Um, and you know, th this is the thing. Like, the more objective we are in identifying what's going on, the uh, the better this works. Okay. And 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 again, it was an insight into these areas here. Okay. We missed the big move to the downside, okay? but we were still looking for buyers to come in at a certain point. And they did, and we and we 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 were thinking we had reasons why though, okay, because we had insight up here. Uh, and then uh, you know then we're looking for the buyers to come in. They did, and then we we're looking for these moves back up into these levels here, okay, which played out pretty nicely. Uh, but you know it's just it was a read uh, based on on the data here, uh, and then you know putting the putting these pieces together and and what Bookmap is telling us basically. Uh, and then taking it taking it like, like that. Oh, thank you, Charles. Um, very powerful webinar today. Uh, really appreciate the the nice comments. Um, let's see uh, which version is working now. Well, um, stick with the 3.0 with like with Scott. Uh, I would recommend Trader HE. Um, and uh, and then once uh, this this new one is released, then uh, then upgrade. Okay, and hold on to that 3.0 just in case as well. Don't don't dump it. All right, guys, see the support coming in here um, around uh, this kind of 05-ish, just below it as well. So we might go a little bit lower here. You know, looking for that. This is where the breakout actually took place around kind of 03 and a half or 03. Uh, it can come down a little bit lower, but you know, we we have our reasons as well with this line. So we're getting a little bit of a bounce here. The bid looks pretty good. Um, anyway, maybe a, a bit of back and forth here at the moment, but, uh, uh, yeah. All right. Any, any more questions? I think, um, I think that's it for today. We've been already going over an hour, uh, answered all your questions, uh, along with some misreads of those questions. So, uh, my apologies for that. Uh, and, uh, let's wrap it up. We'll, we'll call it a week here. Uh, thanks for coming everybody. And we will catch up with you on Monday then, okay?
All right. All right. Thank you, David. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.